Hey everybody, this is Pat Curry with Love Our Planet Adventures. I'm going to hook this uh, microphone up. Whoa, that should be a much better sound now. I'm going to show you a little bit of ins and outs of our 6x12 cargo trailer converted into a tiny home here. Really, really cool setup. We've got, we took a uh, cargo trailer from Trailers Plus, Interstate Trailers Plus, a Pro Series, which there's three things you want to look for in a cargo trailer. You want to look for, number one, I'm going to step up here. Aluminum one-piece roof. That's important right there. Make sure that you have a roof that's going to last a long time. It's one-piece aluminum all the way across. It is screwed in and then it's taped over so you're not going to have to worry about leaking or anything like that on this. It's also rounded so the, the, the rain goes off of it. It's got the cool lights up top. Also, you want to make sure that you get good axles. This one has Dexter axles. Okay, it's also a torsion axle, so it's going to be really smooth going down the road. Number three is you want to make sure that your channel tongue is all the way through the fame, frame. <laughs> the frame, yeah. It's welded all the way through, so you're going to be, it's going to be really strong. And there's also a number four on this. This is 30, 0.30 aluminum, not 0.24 uh, which a lot of them have riveted, which is really nice. Doesn't have the clean look as much as like without rivets, but I, I like it. It gives it a look, good look. Um, we have uh, windows in this one. We put in 50, uh, a 12 by 30, a 30 by 30, and over on this side, we've got two 15 by 30s. So we did that. We installed the trailer brake, and then we installed the trailer brakes right here. Trailer brake. And then we also installed the fantastic fan right there. You can see that. I've got solar panels up on top right now, one slanted, one in front. Both of those are 160 watts each. And then I've got one down on the bottom, which is 100 watt, giving me a total of 420 watts. I'm running at peak today. I was running 16, 17 amps. Okay, really cool setup. It all goes in through. Uh, another thing that you get with these trailers is you get these air vents. So you can see that air vent right there. I use it for my solar, and that goes up there. The sun's kind of blocking, so you can't really see, but I've got everything all hooked up. Um, I can hook four different panels up with that in parallel. Um, really cool setup. So that one air vent, back to the air vent, back to the wheels, really nice. So three things to look for. You wanna look for the frame, good axles, and a one-piece roof for not leaking. The other air vent over here is for my shore power. It's a 15 amp right there I can plug in. Okay, now I'm gonna step inside and I'm gonna show you guys the inside of this. Inside here, we have painted the walls Atlantic blue, Virginia white, and we have a lot of wood accents in here and, and white trim. The good Lord protects us. This home is protected, so. Don't try anything. <laughs> okay, really cool over here. We built a wall. We built a bed in here. This piece flips up. This is a three piece here. One, two, three. And this piece right here flips up like this against the wall. And you can walk in here and you can change. Jesus is changing. I've got 13, 30, 13, almost 14 amps running. And it's like five o'clock right now. Pretty good stuff. Wire's getting nice and hot. 10, amp, 10 gauge wire. Remember, 10 gauge wire with for 20 amps, you got to run. If you're going with 40 amps, you're going to want like 8 gauge. So, you know, go check your comparisons and learn about that. Over here, we have uh, the, the, the bathroom. This is where the bathroom is, and up above, my solar panels go up there. Oh, another thing. So, we built this right here. Um, put the wires up there, and our pillows go. It's just like we took a bunch of these racks and and uh, uh, staple them together and it goes all the way down it makes a nice little storage area and also keep us warmer at night uh, really worked out good a little shelf over there curtains curtain rods solar going through over there so really nice setup inside here we have the shower this is a really cool setup i haven't really in detailed uh went over this this is a pvc pipe made like into a hula hoop and then what we did is we just put the curtain rods right on there and we put this through the top and it hooks up to this and it keeps it in place. It ain't going anywhere. I think stable. Got the lights. Got two of them. Just click them on. So this thing goes all the way around. Take a shower. We stand in that bucket right there. And the water goes in there. 
We can just dump it out after we're done. That's good for a couple gallons. I've got maybe three gallons. I've got seven and a half gallon tank there that runs into this hose. Pop that on. Runs into our shower. The shower gets popped up right there. A couple of those lights on. Goes right up there and then we just take a shower just like that. Really, really cool. Runs on a one amp uh, pump. It goes in there and the one amp gets hooked up to that uh, long extension right there. It goes into that outlet or the one down below. So, and uh, it's a really easy setup. Simple, no drilling in the uh, holes in the walls uh, down below or up above. And then these, these walls are even Velcroed in the bottom, so no holes in the floor. Don't want any leaks. Didn't want anything to even leak. So over to this section, we have a little storage right there above the, our sign. Just put knickknacks, and we needed something that would give us some room so we can walk in here. Uh, this table folds down. We made this, and then we clear coated it, sanded it, and clear coated it. It will fold down if you remove this refrigerator here, and you would have all this walking room. Over here, we have a Murphy chair that we can go ahead and turn this into a bed. This whole thing will pop over these sides right here. You can see the sides. Okay, those are all uh, piano hinged. Okay, and uh, then this this whole they'll flip out like this, both sides, and it makes into a bed. This can also flip up. See that right there? This whole thing can flip up and it can be stored. Stored right there. So this whole thing can flip up, st be stored up like that, and hook up to that. And we can have all this open, this whole area opened with this out of the way and have put bigger stuff. Over here we have another another table. Needed a couple tables for stuff. I've got uh, outlets here, 2.4 outlets for plugging in phones. I got a 110 over here. So 110 over here, 110 over here, and 2.4 outlets right there. I got the charger, 26,000 mega amp charger, charge of anything. There went the refrigerator on. Um, I also have all these cabinets that we built. Uh, these are crate boxes we made into cabinets. We took the bottoms off and made doors and made them into hinges, and they're all really cool there and then we made some more um little cabinets up here uh these are cool and we put a little deal on the front so nothing can go flying out of there a little speaker up there over here's the sink the sink is ran off a 12 volt pump right there just flick the switch on and then that turns on right here i don't have it on right now home is where our family gathers there we go another window there really nice all your led lights Right here, down below, I have, right down here is where I have the clean water, two and a half gallon, seven and a half gallons of clear, uh, gray water. So if I fill this up twice, I almost fill this up. So I know that's time to get rid of it. So it's good, it gives me, lets me know what's going on. And then back here, I got a 12 volt pump there in the back. Works out great, it's a great system. I put this little pipe in here to keep this hose nice and clear all our cleaners and all that but yeah it works out fantastic that's a little overview i'm going to do some more overview later you know we did some tie-ups for pillows we try to make as much space as we possibly can in here um we got three different levels on this fantastic fan that's nice it really cools this place off i'm telling you it just cools it off so well it's just amazing this little tiny home so here guys so yeah if you guys are you have any questions about building a tiny home or making your own um feel free to leave in comments i can give you some uh, pointers on how to uh, design this how to start where to start you know uh make sure your trailer's got three quarter inch floors this has got a three quarter inch wood plywood that's important three eighths on the wall so real good we insulated them all so thanks guys happy trails talk to you soon take care please subscribe share and like this video